Hey everybody, welcome back to Overtly Mocking Games. OMG, this is Michael T. Bradley. And this is Skixmatix. And we are here to keep uh, digging into Fahrenheit. Oh, yes. And, um, yeah, I, I don't think there's anything else to say. What do you think? I, let's get to it. Oh, this is where we meet Deep Throat. <laughs> or the Smoking Man. For your yeah, help, Professor. same joke. Luckily, I had a lot of practice with furniture, so I'm good at this. <laughs> What's he convulsing for? Oh. That's dangerous. Do not try this at home, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is performed on a closed course. <laughs> is this where the opening uh, tutorial took place? Oh, maybe, yeah. David Cage is back here with a wire dummy. Yes. Oh, good. He finally remembered he had superpowers. I don't I don't think cars set on fire that easily. No, no, they don't. These busters uh, spend a lot of time trying to set cars on fire. But maybe it's different for French cars, and so that's why this is happening. They keep their petroleum tanks on the outside. <laughs> And they all, at all times, carry a lot of C4 or whatever. So, are there just a lot of assassins in cars in this tiny enclosed space, or is somebody controlling the cars? I don't know. Professor! The Codex speaks of the coming of a child. A prophet. Speak up. Life's questions. Oracle kills to find the child. Uh, it, it speaks of the child uh, preferring to mentally manipulate uh, SUVs uh, from a distance. Oh my god, Star Wars! Palpatine, no. Unknown place. <laughs> you know where it is. You're the omniscient narrator, you stupid son of a... That's a little, gotta be a little stressful for him. Every time someone seems to know the answers, they die. Oh. This is where the game starts to be another game. <laughs> ah, there you are. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Oh, sorry, I got a frog in my throat. Resisting an oracle. What is there so different about you? Chroma. You have the chroma. The chroma key. So that explains it. How did you ever acquire such a power? No you, get, you get a little something on your chin. <laughs> there, dude. Your eyes. The time has come for you to die. Die? Chroma? Why me? Why choose me? Pure chance. Oh. The executor well. is always <laughs> I'm uh, unqualified to, uh, to, be chosen to serve decide to whether this is racist or not. Yeah. Chroma? What does that mean? The force that created the universe. The origin of everything. It gives extraordinary powers to those who possess it. The god color. Wait, it, it gives extraordinary powers to those who possess it? If you already possess the power. We will see each other again. In the other world. Throw no. Oh, it's a kitty. Kitty wants to play. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. It, it still seems like pretty much the same game. I mean, we're still just playing Simon Says. Oh, yeah, but wait, wait, let me see what's coming. If memory serves, I might be thinking of another game. <laughs> <laughs> It's been a while. It's certainly a different setting than the rest of the game. Yeah, that's for sure. I, I, I don't know if we've gone back in time, if we're having a vision, if he got transported to Maya. I, 
I think you should just fail a few times and let Lucas get smacked in the face by branches. This, this looks more like the demon dog from Ghostbusters than like a big cat, which I thought it was originally. Oh no, wheelchair lady. Agatha, but how? Listen closely, Lucas. I am Go trying to, to find the Mulholland exit. for a little girl. A perfectly pure soul that's never been incarnated. Her coming was foretold by the most ancient prophecy in human history. She's the one you see in your dreams. The Philistine. You no, damn it. The, <laughs> the Celestine prophecy. Hurry. There isn't much time, and they are already back on your trail. Oh, and bring me some sugar cookies. <laughs> and some ribbon candy. <laughs> you want a licorice whip? I must inform you that we are unhappy. Very unhappy. He has escaped you. We again. we have to quick Best time event our way through a meeting a that's mistake. possibly worse than actually being in a meeting. In a yes. What's worse? You showed yourself openly to him and all for nothing. Make some coffee, would you? It's just I was unaware of certain factors, my lords. Which factors? So is that guy he that guy is the one who the hypnotized that's us, impossible. right? Idiocy. How could so? he possess the chroma? I know not. But it is a certainty that he does. This is how he resisted my psychic attacks and successfully evaded the police. This could force us to One of the least plans. successful Bobby this Brown songs. This is serious. Song. Very serious. That is not all. Someone has intervened. What do you mean? While you were with him in the wave? Yes, my lord. Someone brushed aside all of my attacks on Kane and protected him. It was not one of ours. Certainly not. No. So it's going kind of I Assassin's it Creed here, I guess. Else. Its coma was different. Another clown? That's impossible. Only Another clown? We are left. We have a yeah. rival. <laughs> who searches it's... for the indigo child as we do. I was wondering who the first clown was. The child. That would be a catastrophe. A disaster. Kane is on their side. Unless anyway, let's play you. some b-ball and key. get rid he of some of this stress. Our eyes. He must not find the child. You I think Abraham Lincoln was out there. Definitively. You can't fight here. This is a war room. I've already taken measures. He will be definitively dealt with, and soon. Do not disappoint us. You may leave us. That that means no. Our protagonist wasn't even there. Unless you want to be the cookie. So want to be the cookie. It circle jerk reference. There's not a moment to lose. I've got to warn him or he's dead. Did he dye his hair? That's it. We should wait, Carla. Backup will be here any minute now. No way. This time I'm gonna get him. That desk guy swore to us how? he was in his room, and he's not gonna How get away. did we get plus thirty on her by not doing screw anything? Up when he said he recognized Kane's photo from the papers. He looked so blind he wouldn't recognize his own mother in a phone booth. What? We'll find the answer in room 369. I don't know if I would recognize my mother in a phone booth. What's a phone booth, Daddy? <laughs> what is... I feel like we skipped, like, an hour of this game. <laughs> yes. Pick up, Marcus, pick up. Well, time to get murdered by a mysterious assailant, I guess. Again. I'll be with you in just a minute. I just need to answer the telephone. Move, you son of a bitch! I just need to run the hell away and answer the telephone. Wow, he could really hear that all the way out there. Marcus, he's in the church. Don't let him get anywhere near you. Lucas? Is that you, Lucas? What's going on? I don't have time to explain, Marcus. Run, right now. Shut the doors and lock them tight. I'm begging you, just, just do what I say. 
Oh, come now, Lucas. Just do it now! Just because you've saved my life many times in the past because of your premonitions. All right, I'm locked in. Now, can you explain what's going on? Call the police, and don't come out until they get there. Oh, yeah. Lucas? I feel Hello, so much better. That what does not... Emergency? Three, six, uh, nine. My brother told me to call the police, but he wouldn't explain why. It's the wrong room number. <laughs> this... This does not look safe. Nobody move! Uh, Either he's gone through some changes since the photo, or this is not him. This is 366, idiots. Happened? Come on. Calm down, girl. I think there's been a slight misunderstanding. Tyler, it was the wrong room! Duh. Huh? Another room 369 down the hall somewhere. Yeah, maybe like two doors down on the other side of the hallway. It's not it either. I think the bird has flown the coop. I'm gonna that was weird, our angelically smooth you. people Come having on, sex go. over there. So he, oh, he's Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Does whatever the... Oh, God, what was his name? The Orca cast or whatever the hell the guy in the headdress called him? Oh, I don't know. Lucas, you have to he's definitely right bleached his hair. What questions can we ask her? Come on, come on. Realize now that I am not joking. So please, phone's not don't connected delay. to the wall there. Yeah. Earlier, when I had you kill that dude, you might have thought I was joking. Uh, I understand the miscommunication now. Because it was pretty funny. Does that say South Park? <laughs> I'm moving towards my death. Everything I told you would turn into a different game. The second I entered that diner, all of it was leading me. To this moment, I was tired of fighting, running, shy. It's like a split time. screens. I was losing. Yeah. Life. There was only one thing left to do. Try Die of fright, looking at the giant clown and behind that, me. I decided not to fight my destiny. Go, go. Lucas! Lucas, help me! Tiffany, she's at the top of the roller coaster. I have to find a way up there. Who's That's Tiffany? Weird. The, his ex-girlfriend. Oh, we just hit at her place last time. Oh, there's that bum guy who keeps showing up. <laughs> Tiffany! I, I found a bonus card. Lucas, I don't care! No! Lucas, help me! Uh, I'll be sad if we let her die. There, this we're just gonna swoop right past her. We're not gonna like have time to. Lucas! Lucas, help me! Oh my god. She's a little shrill. Yeah. Lost Planet 4, Indigo Prophecy. Oh good, we gotta be safe here. We wouldn't wanna like. He's just gonna do this and like drive by her and mock her. Like, ha oh, ha, oh, how's it hanging? Go, Speed Racer. Go, go, Speed Racer. All right, you enjoyed one loop around the park. Would you like to go for another? Now, how did it just stop here? That doesn't make any oh, sense. Man, it's a trap! They're gonna kill you! Don't well, then you why did you keep yelling for him to come over there? Oh, balancing. I hate balancing in games. You might notice that this is exactly the same mechanic whenever you have claustrophobic attacks as Carla, but don't 
Don't think about that. I hate I hate when games have one mechanic that sucks and then like like there was this Buffy game I think it was called Chaos Bleeds absolutely loved the entire game but jumping was terrible and then got to the end section and it's entirely jumping platform stuff and I was just like okay done with the game I'm assuming she wins you can tell the game's messing with his uh, camera angle too got to cross back while carrying her over your shoulder. <laughs> I wonder why he didn't just jump, considering he has friggin' superpowers. children move quickly I'm I don't sure. recall it the child must not escape it's, us uh, the kind of a new age fulfilled you may leave us the kids are, are starting to be born like pre-enlightened and geniuses and artists and stuff and they're, they're that's it it's over indigo children now there's nothing to do but wait though it shouldn't be long is that a real thing that's a real thing all has gone according to plan I sense another signal Sounds very Mormon. <laughs> Cerebral final activity. I think he's dreaming. No, no, what the hell is going on here? I don't know. Oh, oh okay, we're back to newsies. <laughs> My cross sucks. It'll only keep stupid vampires away. Wake up, Marcus, it's time. You're sleeping in your glasses again. Dummy. Hurry up! We don't have much and time. And his braces. Are you sure you want to go, Lucas? It could be dangerous. We have to go in there ready for anything, Marcus, right? Maybe there'll be an alien spaceship inside, or the tomb of an ancient king, and all of his treasure. Or a giant frozen dinosaur? And what if all of these games sound more interesting world? than whatever the hell we're doing? The hangar's gonna be well guarded. We better the get hangar's going gonna be well guarded? And dad the to hangar. Oh. Like what? What hair are we? Sne we're sneaking into hair. The hair is well guarded. It, it sounds like a commentary on our presidential candidates there. <laughs> All right, Marcus. We're gonna have to take him down swiftly. Here's my combat knife. They they appear to be looking our way. I don't I don't understand what the point there was. A soldier, quick, the time. I I so do not at all get the kind of logic here. Looks like he could crawl into the house or the concert hut. Yeah. Why do they think there's something weird in the hangar? Do we do we remember? Do we know? I don't think it was explained. We can't go any it really does that feel as if away. like Parazing skipped know. over a disc or something. <laughs> It does, but uh, I, I think the game is just that disjointed at this point. I'm trying to, on the map, I don't see anything moving. Where where are we on the map? I don't know. Are we up? Approaching the hangar? I just I can't even tell. Okay, I there I think I see the two little green dots. Yeah. But that away from Marcus before going on. Companion quest. Those are the 
first. Except here, where it just you just seem to be moving around randomly. Just stuck under the stuck under the thing. It's a shortcut, and it's in. Now what? The only way to get to the hangar without being seen is to climb up the telephone pole and hang off of the cable. What? Impossible. That pole is right under the guard's nose. I know, but there's no other way. Listen, I'm gonna try to get him to look the other way. Meanwhile, you run and climb up the pole. I'll try to set it up. Wouldn't you think these guards would be looking okay, under the huts more often? I mean, it seems like an obvious place for people back. to try to hide. At least that yeah. way we'll know for sure whether there's a flying saucer in that hangar. I've done security work, it's mostly just being really bored. Yeah, I bet. Separately as the two kids. Yeah. And I bet this isn't gonna be like where uh, where we chose to be it's lucky. All you, it's all up to you. I did it all for you, Damien. Hey, what do you think you're doing there? I'm looking for my cat, sir. He ran out of the house. He was on the garbage, but then he got away before I could grab him. You're one of the cane boys, right? Head on home, son. You shouldn't be out prowling around alone at this hour. What about my cat, sir? We'll find him tomorrow. Right now, you go on back home. Oh, God, this does not look fun at all. No, he's got to avoid the lights. Gonna get caught. How do you... Um, okay, I don't... Yeah, I just don't understand this. Oh, I see. It's, they only get where you are when they're all the way back to us. Wow. Man, if only I had superpowers and stuff. Okay. He only has is the fruitless premonitions. If only he could jump around. And jump up and get down. <laughs> jump around. Jump around. This... I... I just don't... It... <sighs> Skix, I need, I need this game to tell me things and it just doesn't. People say a lot, but I don't know what the hell is going on. You talk a lot, but you're not saying anything. Say something once, or say it again. <laughs> See, it's almost the X-Files thing. Mm -hmm. And now he's gonna wake up. Yeah, you when I got son the call, of a I bitch. I didn't hesitate for one second. I came without telling anybody, not even Tyler. She gonna meet All Marcus? All I knew is that I was supposed to go to the grave of somebody who'd just been buried that morning. Tiffany Harper, Lucas Kane's ex-girlfriend. And how did you know this? What call did she get? How did she die? I thought he rescued her. No, they fell. Remember? Oh right, right, right. But yeah. he survived. Is he Superman? Right. I, I occasionally get confused. <laughs> uh, Kay? She was a good person. She didn't have anything to do with all of this. You got a lot of guts, Mr. Kane. Call my office and ask for a meeting when every cop in the country is hot on your trail. Now his hair appears to be not. Your investigation has too many died. shadowy areas in it for you to content yourself with the official version. Also, Lucas, it's snowing out. Think I Button up your shirt. To your questions. I just don't like his shirt. That's weird. No steam comes out of his mouth when he talks. Like his breath was already cold. Well then, 
Who is the real killer? I don't know his name. I don't even know if there's anyone alive who does. All that I do know is that he's a Mayan oracle who has the power to erase all memory of his existence from anyone who sees him. Well, that seems... What? <laughs> the oracle isn't acting alone, is he? He belongs to a secret clan. Who have united Carl is pretty powerful being trusting powers. here all of a sudden. Their power has no limit, and they'll do anything to get the Indigo Child. You mean the Orange Clan? You already know about them? Not sure why she hasn't. I went to see one of the murderers in an asylum. He talked about the Orange Clan. Did he? I don't even remember that. Jesus, an Indigo prophecy. Oh, this is just unbelievable. But his story is consistent. It seems to fit with what I already know. Is it? Does it? Really? I really, Carla? Just don't like his shirt. Apartment? When we came to arrest you, the walls. I don't understand how it's like symbols. staying ruched. Articles like, about the murder cut out of the paper. It was all arranged to make me the ideal suspect. The oracle. It looks like he was clawed by a fabric away. lion. Roots. How did you learn? What did you think of Levar Burton and Roots? Him. The question isn't whether what I'm saying is true or not. The question is, Looks like are there you going bandages to bandages under the shirt? It's unclear what, so. what's up with the yeah. shirt. Help you? Why should I help you? For the same reason that you agreed to come here this morning without alerting anyone. Because you know I'm telling the truth. Because if we don't do something quickly, the cold will cover the entire planet and there won't be tomorrow. What? And even if you're right, what can we do about it? So Nobody's it's gonna believe all cold this. because of the and if the Oracle really Mayan has all these powers, Oracle what can we do to stop him? Find the Indigo Child before he does, and hide her someplace safe. I, I think they, they skipped some steps Not yet, in... But I'll find her. I Logic? Through the eyes Logic of the Oracle and, during and his visions. those if next he sees her, necessary steps to make people believe things. Oh, this is just insane. I cannot believe I'm actually sitting here talking about saving the world with a fugitive wanted by every police department in the country. I love how she keeps reiterating that, You're wanted by every police department in the country. You can As if normally it's like, I mean, me me okay, you're wanted child. in Philadelphia, but, but you, must you know. Decide quickly. I haven't got much time. What am I supposed to do? If he's lying, I'm aiding a murderer and I'll go to prison. But if he's telling the truth... I mean, sure, Indigo Child, Orange Clan, so, seems crazy, legit. Or you're some kind of hero. Neither one nor the other. I was just yeah, all in that the seems to come under the blue a little time. Now they're gonna dance. His hand. It's as cold as ice. It's, it's willing to sacrifice our love. I don't that's think a he's really dead, but that's he's deadish. Only mostly dead. Oh, what Here's now? that girl again. Maybe that's what he found in the hangar. This girl. Play with us, Danny. Sil, Sif, Saint. Saint Thomas Orphanage. Yep, there's a thing. Yeah. Oh, he did photo negative. That was fun. Why does he look completely different now? Is his hair going gray? Because of yeah, spookiness? I guess. Is he bandaged or tattooed or. Almost the entire country did is Did he just bang the cop? I don't think so. I think he woke her up. To help provide shelter and basic necessities. But the cold and snow have hampered ground movement, and storms have shut down every airport in the country. So Scientists now it's not just winter, it's the end of the world. The reason behind the cold wave, which has now gripped the entire just need to keep raising the stakes. Eventually they'll get to the apocalypse. Everywhere in the world. The authorities ponder. Well, our job is done. Now it's up to the army to do what they can to help the population. Carla, you should get some sleep. You haven't closed your eyes in two days. I have to get warm to do that. I, Solid it, ice from head to toe. What? Yeah. Hey, look, can I get real with you here for a sec, Carla? I think it's probably <laughs> now or never. 
I what the hell is our plot? Something for me on this cane thing. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. I found him, but I think he's innocent. I didn't say anything because I didn't want to get you involved, Tyler. You mad at me? No, of course not. No, because everyone just going accepts on now. I guess bizarre stuff. Yes. Matter. Anyway, as long as you do what you think is right, you can't go too wrong. Uh, <laughs> that's not good advice at all. Somebody gave that advice to Himmler once. Yes. Hello, Carla Clone. Oh, no, that's probably his girlfriend. Is he dating someone who looks like his coworker? Sam. What are you doing here, babe? No, she's a from a distance. One hour for Florida. It'll probably be the last one for a long time. I'll be on it, Tyler. With or without you. If you really love me, quit the police and come with me. When this cold stops, we'll get on with our lives. Our new normal lives. So, it's time to, make to be choice. fair, like, you know, f for the... Oh, I love you too damn much, Sam. I wouldn't let you go for anything in the world. Oh, Tyler, I was so afraid of losing you. All right, so now our choices are finally having some repercussions, I guess. But, you know, to be fair, like... Like, I thought she was kind of dumb when she was like, Oh, the police force, blah, 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 blah. I'm so upset. But if it's the apocalypse, then I can Carla, see bringing I... this up, you know? As long as you do what you think is right, you can't go too wrong. Oh, shut up. Good luck in Florida, Tyler. Send me an orange. Enjoy your cockroaches. Here we are. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Would have been funnier if that was Marcus you're coming to work. Child, just like I did. He'll be here to find her any minute now. I've got to get to her before he does. Wait for me here. I won't be long. I guess those bandagey bits are part of his shirt. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. Getting a little hung up on fashion here. Turn to the left. There's no Such time to lose. I've got to find that girl before the Oracle does. Oh, right, yeah, no, this is totally, we need to do this quickly, I guess, and things. Let's have a quick time event while talking to the nun. Sir? That's Marcus. Sir, <laughs> you can't go in there. That's the demon room. All Catholic churches have a demon. Do the Oracle will be here any second. Will? Will he? How do we know? I. What are we doing? Oh, we're at the we're orphanage. Trying to find the indigo girl before the Oracle gets her. Oh my God. You can't go in. <laughs> oh, it's right. Oh, it's CB times. I'll just I've take her. My dreams. Don't you say hello. We have to leave here right now. Whatever. She seems out of it, like she's not here at all. Maybe she's heavily drugged. She's having a boot indigo. Now run with this child you just so, kidnapped. I see you're still alive. I don't know how you've managed it. I am your but father. But that's of no importance now. Give me the child, and I will grant you a rapid death. Also, I was if the killer in I Know What You Did Last Summer. They'll use her to make slaves out of the entire human race. That's no concern of yours. You'll be dead before that comes to pass. Give or me the dead -er. child. I don't have time to play with you. So few games have ass bump as an action. Now I'm up here. What do you think of that, huh? I'm not touching you. I'm leaving you here. You mustn't move, understand? Whatever. I'll be back soon to get you. I hope. Can I have the iPad? <laughs> oh, really? Levitating? I don't, this doesn't, see, it doesn't seem like this would work, right? I mean... I mean, like, what's he pushing off from to push him away? Notice how often people with magical powers or super powers wind up just punching each other. Oh yeah.
So, I guess the makers of this, like, really liked The Matrix, but they were like, you know, the first movie just made too much sense. What if it were the third movie the entire time? Whee! Oh yeah, yeah. I give him a 9.5 on this, but the dismount was a little rough. Six from the Russian judge. He just did like a get away from me, you puss sort of move. Also, I'm sorry, but the Omen music just isn't selling it for me. I don't... I just... Any action movie I watch now, I'm gonna want there to be little Simon counters in the middle of the screen. Oh, no, debris! You got this, you trained for debris. <laughs> Brick punching. It's the ultimate title. The Oracle looks like those were really good bricks. Jeez. <laughs> I gotta go talk to a committee. I got a three o'clock meeting, sorry. Now he can vanish. Why why did he take so long to start vanishing? I don't know, but it doesn't really seem to be making much difference. Lucas is like, yeah, whatever. Use I'm the daredevil and shit too, so. Look, I, I really, I can really just sense where you're gonna be. This is, oh, for the love of God! It's like a slap fight. Yeah. Puss, you puss, you puss, puss, you puss. Who's a puss? You're a puss. It's Billboard to Coffee. At one point. I'm yawning. I'm just like tired and like whatever. Dude. I want more of him looking like an anime character. Like what? There we go. Thank you. Dude. Now he's got telekinesis. Of course, uh, that guy can vanish. So that really doesn't mean anything there. He's helicopter kidnapping an orphan and hope he's back. What is up with- oh, there she is. I was like, what is up with the girl at this point? I'm doing magic and shit. It's a Tai Chi. I find it very calming. Oh, dangerous. Do not try this at all. Um, wh why did his balls just not just get chopped by the chopper blades? He is Spider-Man. I'm okay with this. I don't think Spider-Man runs in the walls like that, does he? he yeah, sometimes. Does he? Yeah. Did he just vanish now? He can do it. Uh, whatever. Okay. Well, I think that's a good place for us to stop here. So yeah. uh, let's um, let's save the exciting conclusion for uh, yeah, probably not next time, but the time after that. Um, We're getting there. Yeah, uh, now it actually makes sense why it's called Fahrenheit. Yes. Because the uh, apparently we're losing temperature. I, they yep. just kind of randomly threw that in there. And we also have the Indigo Prophecy. Yeah. The names so, of the uh, game make sense now, sort of. Only took it like 75% to get there, but uh, <laughs> but hey, we are there. All right, we'll, uh, we'll see you next time for, I believe, the penultimate episode of Fahrenheit. For now, this is Michael T. Bradley. And this is Skix Maddox. And we are...